bit shocked because I was expecting that I will be speaking a little later. But again, I'm Renzo from the Philippines, and thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to, to share some ideas uh, with you. Actually, I've been asked to talk about, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm sure you've seen my emails about social determinants of health, and we'll be talking about it for the entire week. And then uh, they also some uh, also asked me to speak about environment and stuff that I've been working on for the past few years. But I decided to talk about my global health hero. Since we are uh, celebrating our 60th anniversary of the IFMSA, and you know, a lot of the, the previous speakers already <laughs> talked about revolutions. And revolutions are never successful without heroes. That's why I'll talk about my global health hero. And uh, interestingly, this uh, global health hero of mine uh, is uh, commemorating his 150th birthday this year. Don't worry, he's not alive anymore. But we Filipinos are celebrating his sesquicentennial. We just celebrated it last June. And uh, his name is Dr. Jose Rizal. And I want to invoke his spirit and if possible, come down Rizal and uh, try to penetrate in every medical student in this hall. But what's interesting about Rizal, Jose Rizal, is that he's our national hero. He was the one who sparked the Philippine Revolution against Spain. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> We won, but actually, uh, <laughs> we didn't know that Spain will sell us to the United States for $20 million in Paris. So that was uh, quite a shock, you know, we were all victorious, but apparently it's not yet over, the Americans are coming, okay? So that's what happened. <laughs> and uh, he was the one who sparked the revolution, he wrote two novels. Uh, and then that, that really anger the Spanish priest during that time. But more than that, he is a physician, he's a doctor, just like all of us in this room. And uh, what the message that I got from Dr. Rizal is that, uh, I got actually three things. One is that, you know, when he was a student, just like uh, us, He's been to a lot of European countries. He studied in charity in Berlin under Rudolf Virchow, who is a father of social medicine, who was the one who said, Do, don't, we, uh, don't, we, don't we trace uh, the roots of diseases to you know, the, social, the defects in society, etc. And then uh, he, was, he also studied in France, in Brussels, etc. Um, but after he studied in Europe, he went back to the Philippines to serve the people, to work with communities, and that's what he basically did when he was in exile in a far-flung uh, place called Gapitan. He worked with the community, he started primary health care. I think he's the one who introduced this idea of primary health care community participation in Asia Pacific. And uh, so that's why he went back. Number two, he involved the people. And people should be at the center of all our efforts in global health. And the last but not the least, he offered his life to our country. He was shot at the age of 33, very young age. And uh, during that time, he was so happy that he will be offering his life so that the Philippines will be a free nation, that the Philippines will become part of the global community, and that the Philippines is, will now be represented in IFMSA because we're uh, you know, a separate country. So those are the three things that I got. That's why I think Dr. Rizal will always be my global health hero. These days, I see myself following his footsteps. For the past week, I've been to Brussels, I've been to Paris, and went to this Class Jose Rizal, which was named after him in the ninth arrondissement. And also, uh, I've been to other countries three weeks ago in the Asia Pacific Regional Conference. I visited the place where he practiced medicine, specifically ophthalmology in Hong Kong. But, you know, he is, uh, he, his message still rings true today. His, uh, his uh, idealism 
should be emulated, especially now that in the Philippines we're celebrating 150 years, we still have 150 towns without doctors, 6 out of 10 Filipinos die without seeing a doctor. And so I hope that in commemorating his life in this, uh, in this short talk, uh, we can consider him as one of our global health heroes. Thank you.